Hi guys, welcome back to Rudresh Reddy channel. Hope you all are fantastic. Guys, in this video, I'll explain real user monitoring in Dynatrace. Okay, one of the important concept in Dynatrace that is RAM, nothing but real user monitoring. I'll explain how to do the configuration in this video. I have connected to the Dynatrace part of the manage section. If you come down, you will find an option called settings. So click on settings. It will come to this particular page. And here you need to search for application detection where that application detection would be present so that you need to search in this section and here you have an option called web and mobile monitoring expand that and scroll little down here you will find an option called application detection so by using this option you can configure the real user monitoring so for now i am just clicking on application detection so that it will prompt to the next page where you can provide the application details right so for this demonstration purpose, I have downloaded the easy travel application as you are seeing on our screen. So I have downloaded easy travel application. So how to download or what is the link for this easy travel, right? That is also very important. I have given that information in the description part. You can just click on link so that you can download this easy travel application and configure accordingly. Okay. So it will take little time while installing this easy travel application because it is a heavy application. Just keep that information also in your mind. Since I have already installed that application, so I'll directly come here and right now I am in the web and mobile monitoring and inside that application detection. So this is how the page will looks like. Once you come to this page, then click on add item. First, for example, once you click on add item, so we need to select one thing for example domain match so i will take instead of domain match i will take url contains so what i will give url contains equals to this one http localhost 8079 so if this match is there then application detection for that and if you want to store that information separately as application click on create application and provide here easy travel i'll give the information as easy travel then create application so what happens now in the console you will see this particular name easy travel okay if you go inside that it will be connecting to this particular url right so then after providing this information you can come down nothing right no need to do anything simply click on save changes very straightforward thing right so once you have configured this information and if you go to that particular URL and whatever the action you do, all the information start capturing in the Dynatrace console. I will show you that information also. Right now it is saving everything, right? So after saving also, I'll show you how it looks like. Yeah, now it is showing easy travel and inside that I'm checking URL contains. If you want to see more information, just expand that and later if you want to make a modification also, that is also you can do it here. You know the path right where we need to do that go to setting then web and mobile monitoring and application detection once you configure here then you should come to application and observability application and observability then click on front end okay so whatever the things we have configured so far that information will come and sit inside the front end okay now it is loading you are able to see that information that information means easy travel application information you will see it here okay how it is performing what are the uh, way we are opening that application whether we are using the edge or chrome or real user connecting that or any bots are connecting that all the information it will capture and put it so that is how we need to analyze the real user monitoring it is just loading okay you can see right easy travel application is already created but it is not having any information here why because nobody has connected to that even though if you click on that easy travel application it will be completely empty so it is not having any information you can see right now it is refreshing the data inside that uh, you are able to see load action load action means how much time it is taking to load the page then xhr action what is xhr x hr action is it is nothing but whether you are dragging clicking that kind of information you will store here then all browser means uh, in which browser you are opening this application edge chrome firefox like that then all user type means whether it is a real user or any bots were there that information will 
inside uh, will be present inside all user types and one great thing is all these options are clickable if you click on that you will get more information below for all these things like all if you click on all browser you will get the all browser details here then if you click on all user type you will get the information for that then view geographical location means from where all this uh, website is accessible and they are connecting users are connecting that information it will give then if any errors it will give that information here likewise appdex rating means how good your application is performing that you will come to know by using the appdex rating it will give the value from 0 to 1 based on that it will do okay so now everything is zero because nobody has connected to that now what i will do i will go to microsoft edge right i'll just refresh this page i'm just wanted to uh, do the real user monitoring for this url only right so what i will do so right now uh, it is loading so once it is loaded i will enter some information here like from date to date or you can whatever you do if you click on home or special of, uh, offers about so everything will be captured inside the dynatrace so that is what we want right how our application is performing we wanted to know that so that is what it is doing now so now i will click on home so it is now you can see on the screen right it is loading it will take some time because uh, my i have only just uh, four cpu and this easy travel application is very you uh, know high i mean it's not lightweight application so that is what it is uh, taking little time so if you click on about or if you click on contract so everything will be get captured inside the data trace right now i am in the contact us then i will go to home page if you click on home page where it will ask for username uh, password or what location you are going so all those information will be present there okay so just wait a second it is loading okay now are you able to see right i have selected the destination then from date and then to date right so you can click on that it will show the details for example if you want to make any other change in the trip destination that also you can do it here so start typing your destination it will asking so i'll type uh, something like am okay it is giving the list here now i'll select any one of the option here for example i'll, I'll select this one ozan and i'll give the details from date as 1st may 2025 and to date as 28th may then i'll click on search if anything is there it will give the information if nothing is there it will give the no journey found right so each and everything whatever i am doing right now on the screen right it is capturing inside the dynatrace now if i click on login it will go to the login page right so it will ask for creating the username or, or a password right it will ask that information now i have made something uh, i mean uh, some actions in the loop i will go to web console i mean dynatrace console okay now you can see the data right easy travel is my application name and it is saying aptex is unacceptable means it is not performing well if you want to see the more information then click on that easy travel again so it will give the detailed information here right so load action it is taking 12.9 seconds to load the page why it is taking a lot of time as i am clearly telling i just installed that easy travel in my laptop so as that is not a lightweight application so it is taking all my cpus on top of that i am using the screen recorder also so that my cpu and memory everything is consumed now so when i try to open this application in the google chrome or microsoft edge it is taking that time okay hope you understood that point then here it is saying uh, saying 100 percent desktop user yes i am using my desktop to connect that so that is what it is saying as desktop anyone connected from the server and all it will give that information as well okay then 100 percent real user i am the real user right i only uh, connecting to that web application and all that is what it is saying real user if any bots were using then it will give that information as well since i am the only one person using that is what you are seeing load action as 12.9 seconds uh, yeah and of course we can see whatever the pages we have connected so far it is giving that information here inside the top three pages so these are the three pages i have recently connected right and then a domain name that is localhost only i'm trying to connect you can see on my screen also right i am trying to connect the localhost so that is what it is showing localhost there so now i will uh, refresh this application page one more time so that you will get a lot more information here earlier few columns were not updating with the data right but you will able to see the data now because all the things are captured properly now just wait for a second it will 
show the data for you it is loading yeah now earlier it was showing only load action but now you are getting the xhr action details and errors and third party cdns uh, many more details you are getting now right so this is how you can capture all the information if any other persons connected to that web application even that information also gets stored inside easy travel okay like that you will get the detailed information of the persons who are connecting you can see right load action 12.9 seconds and xhr as i said xhr means how much time is it, it is taking to load or a drag all those things will be there and error is uh, less than 0.1 uh, per minute is there right so this is how you can do the things then if you want to add any tags here just export this one and create add tag so that whenever you are enabling the maintenance mode and all that time it will definitely help you thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now